Greetings. I am Kipier, a fifth dimensional being who is serving on the starship Athena. This starship is an Arcturian ship, and I am a hybrid of Arcturian and human. For the last 10 years, I have been bonding and uniting with my grounded one, Suzil, who you may know as Suzanne Carroll or Suzanne Lee. For much of that time, Suzil was unaware of what was going on deep within her consciousness. But recently, she had a major initiation in which she had an accident and therefore was bound to just stay still and go inside. Whereas in another reality, she would go off into the temple or she would go into a cave. In the reality in which she is currently living, about the only good reason to stop working and stand still is that you don't have a choice. And so that is what she had to create for herself. She's feeling much better now and this morning, which is July 1st, 2011, she was able to receive my message that I would like to talk to you, that is, whoever receives this information about life in the fifth dimension. Within this moment of our now, for I am switching to the plural that is more familiar to the fifth dimension and beyond. We experience a sense of individuality, but our unity consciousness is so important to us that we speak of ourselves as we. So from this time forward, I will use the term we. One of the things that we would like to share with our grounded ones is to learn to think multidimensionally, to allow yourself to release the habit of thinking in a third dimensional, separate, genderized, time bound, separated and limited fashion. For within our beautiful fifth dimensional realities, and we say realities for there are myriad realities on the fifth dimension. Within our beautiful fifth dimensional realities, we live in the now, we live in the here, we live in the one. So what does it feel like to live in the one? We wish to share that with you so that you can begin to imagine it for yourself. First, let me talk about just walking through the spaceship. As we walk through the spaceship and we see one of our comrades, we take a moment of merging. Now again, moment is not something that is bound by any amount of time, like a minute. It is just a way of translating it in to earthbound languages. Within this merging, we share everything that we desire to share. We don't really have any need or desire to protect ourselves against anyone or from anything, which is most beautiful. Within the bonding that I have experienced with my grounded one, I am now having an intimate experience of being within the third dimension, which I, again using that for now, I'm speaking third dimensionally, I, Kipierre, had forgotten. I'd forgotten the limitations and the densities of that dimension. Just as my grounded one, Suzil, had forgotten the beauty and the unity and the unconditional love of the fifth dimension. So now I ask you to join us aboard our spaceship. Our spaceship is a beautiful organic being 
It is an organic being that all of us have created within our thoughts and minds, as well as the entire Arcturian group mind. The spaceship Athena molds itself to the needs that are presenting within the now. So sometimes, again, there is no word for times, the spaceship will be smaller and sleek so that it can move quickly through hyperspace or even beyond hyperspace. There are technologies that we Arcturians have access to that are far beyond the vaguest recollection or understanding of our Grounded One. Therefore, not only are we willing at this moment to share it, our Grounded One would not be able to translate that message. Within the One, we all know that we are moving quickly into a new destination. And so the ship transforms itself. There are other times when we have many visitors and then the ship becomes larger. We invite you now to see yourself walking down the aisles of the ship. Allow your imagination to see whatever you perceive. For within our unity consciousness, we still have the individuality of perception, which is so glorious that all of us will see things just slightly a little different. See, hear, feel, perceive slightly a little differently and then we will share it with the one and then that information goes throughout the whole collective. In this fashion, we are all blending and growing and becoming more and more multidimensional. So we invite you now to go throughout your day remembering that you are one. And so when you see someone, think of that being as being one with you. And this being may be a human, may be an animal, may be a plant, may be a group, may even be a building or even your car. We invite you to just go throughout your day and imagine, what is it like to be one with all reality? Blessings. We shall return. Greetings. I am Kipier. How did you imagine yourself as being one with all life? We understand that this is a very difficult task in the third dimensional reality where everything appears to be separated by space and separated by time. However, if you allow yourself to take a moment to raise your consciousness and to look upon your third dimensional reality with just a slightly blurred vision and from a higher dimensional perception, you will see that in between all space, there is something. Yes, what is that now? It is, hmm, perhaps to your ever-expanding multi-dimensional vision, you are seeing the molecules of life that connect all objects. Can you imagine those molecules of life? For even if you only think you are imagining, then indeed you are seeing. For imagination is a tool of your multidimensional self. Can you imagine now how all life, even the life is a chair, even if the life is a house, all that is in form within all of reality is connected with these molecules of life and see how they sparkle and see how they glimmer. And now, how can you connect time? 
Yes, that does appear to be more difficult. But if you realize that the only time that you can ever really have is the now, for the past is over and the future has not yet become. If you can remember that you live only within the now, that only within the now can you create reality and only within the now can you be at one within all life, then you know that there is no time, there is only now. I wish also to remind you to remember who you are as you go about your day and you release the belief in time and allow yourself to live in the now. Remember that you are a multidimensional being. As you look around your third dimensional world, allow yourself to perceive the illusions. As you look about your house, look at the objects in your house and realize that these objects are of your creation that you have created this home for yourself because you have believed you were third dimensional you have believed that these objects were something that you bought over time and collected and kept and so as you look about this room, you have many markers of time. The time you bought that couch, the time you bought that table, the time you bought that plant. Now allow all of those times, dear one, to blend into one. Just one time. Not many times. Just one time. The time that is now. The now in which you live. Can you feel the energy field expand? Can you feel your consciousness expand as you allow yourself to release the many limitations of time? Relax, beloved. You are coming home. We know that because you are already here.